Okay, so we're back with the second part, and uh, I just explained to you what uh, Islam is and what is Deen, and it's it's a way of life. And um, I'll go into uh, telling you that it's actually one of the best, most comprehensive, most universal uh, way of lives. Okay, and uh, I like to be very sketchy, and I'll, I'll sketch some things here once in a while. And I'll tell you the universality of Islam, it doesn't cover a nation, it doesn't cover a person by color, it doesn't just, you know, concentrate on that. It concentrates on, on breaking those boundaries, breaking racism, breaking... Uh, when I stay in prayer and I recite in Arabic, in one language, praying to the same God, to my right I have a black brother, to my left I have a, an Indonesian or a Bangladesh or a Pakistani. I'm white and there's other brothers white and everyone, wherever, uh, subhanAllah, the doctor, uh, uh, the doctor puts his head where the, you know, the person washes dishes, for example, a dishwasher uh, uh, put his, puts his feet, you know what I mean, they're in rows. And there's no, it doesn't matter, there's no social class in that we stand in front of God, the Creator, okay, Allah, and we pray in the same way, the same way that the Prophet taught, the same way that Prophets prayed, and we pray to the same God, the same language. There's no boundary, so it breaks that. There's a universality, a brotherhood, a sisterhood, a universal thing um, that requires what? Submission. Submission to the world. It was from the beginning till the end. God does not change uh, His ways. He said there's no change in the Sunnah of Allah in the Quran, right? He, there's no change in the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, portrays Himself, you know what I mean? And uh, there's no way that uh, he came with a message from the beginning, from the same pro first person, Adam, all the way till day of judgment. It will be the same message. There's only one God. Worship only one God. The same recurring theme in uh, in uh, in the Old Testament, but then somehow suddenly you find that there's a new theme in the New Testament. I'm not gonna catch it. I want. I'm not uh, one to put no one down. Or you know, that's what I. You know, right? I'm just telling you why Islam is universal. So Islam. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll use some of my board here uh, to sketch and hopefully you can see and you see there's some Arabic there that I put already and um, I'll try to put it here in, uh, in blue but this is, let's say this is the uh, beginning, okay, B this is the B line, okay and I'll bring it closer okay so this is the B line the beginning of time and there's the end and all right. I hope everyone can see that. Uh, try to fix that. Okay. So we see that uh, God does not is not affected by time. Okay. He can see you here, for example, at your birth, and here at your death at the same time. Okay. At the same time, he God sees everything. Okay. To, time doesn't affect him. Time doesn't. He you know he knows you at every point in your life. Okay. So. Um, now going back to uh, the fact of his universality, the message, uh, you find that at the beginning there was one God, one, okay? At this point, whatever it is, it was still one. Here, one. One God, the same message, all the prophets come, Adam, uh, Noah, Moses, all these prophets come with the same message. But, how come, see, Islam does not stop, it keeps going all the way till the end of time. It will still be one God. Worship one God. The same message. Submission to the will of the Creator. The Creator is higher than anything. The Creator, the salvation depends on the Creator. Everything is in the Creator. Everything is in this one God who is the most merciful, who can do whatever, who is the most just, okay? So in Islam, there's not this portion of time, and again, I don't want to insult anyone, where God changes his mind, he comes himself on earth, and he reveals himself only to these people here, okay? And only they had this amazing encounter with God, and only they had the opportunity. That's not fair. That's not a universality, okay? And he is white, and he has blue eyes, and he is this, and he's, you know? No. Uh, let's be uh, honest. Uh, uh, this is not a universal message. The universal message uh, of Islam that I'm talking about here, okay, um, is that it's throughout. Same thing. Okay, whether you're black, white, whatever uh, messengers were, Moses was not white, okay, uh, he was from Egypt, and other, uh, you know what I mean, uh, characters who, we, when you study intensively, okay, it didn't matter, they came with the same message, they came for everyone as mankind, okay, so this is the universality of this deen, of Islam, 
and uh, I hope uh, that my sketches <laughs> they're not I know they're they're not that good but I hope uh, it kind of helps out a bit and please uh, let me know if it doesn't um, so this is the universality of the message of Islam and I hope I, uh, I explained to you a bit what Islam is and uh, the prayer and everything is done accordingly to what the Prophet taught us and what the Quran was revealed and it's a universal Arabic okay and it doesn't matter for that matter you know what I mean those it's the constant message that matter, la ilaha And even if you don't know Arabic, okay, you're, you can be a Muslim, okay? You can understand the practice of one God. It's so simple. Look how simple it is. One God. Worship one God, okay? Worship one God throughout. It's a God that doesn't sleep, a God that doesn't get tired, a God that no one wrestles with and beats him, okay? A God that's not tempted, okay? A God that is all-powerful, almighty, most merciful, most kind. Glory be to God. Glory be to our Creator. Glory be. Subhanallah. Our, 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 our salvation depends on this power who can do anything, 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 anything. Okay? It's the strongest, the one that can, can save you. Doesn't need any partners. Doesn't need no associates. Doesn't, he sends his messengers, okay? To deliver the message to people. A very, very simple message. A message that cannot be argued by anyone. God is one. He doesn't metamorphize, doesn't become a metaphysical, uh, you know, uh, process to become a human. He is one. He can do from where he says be, and it is. And one verse, amazing thing in the Quran says, uh, see Allah is the one, Allah is eternal. He begets not, nor is he begun, and there's no one like him. So now uh, going uh, to my uh, other... Um, Apart, I'm going to talk a little about uh, a little bit about uh, the Quran.